Fall is upon us and that means outdoor fire season. Up until now I've left my firewood roughly stacked on the edge of my patio, but now it's time to build a proper firewood rack that is going to double as some extra seating around the fire pit. We're going to build this project with some pressure treated pine that has been pre-stained in a cedar color. We could have used regular cedar lumber, but it was a little expensive and the stuff that I found at my local Home Depot was like shaped more like it was built for a canoe. So I'm going to go with this pine. It's nice and straight. And I'll have some basic plans and a cut list and some instructions on our website at howtofixitworkshop.com and I'll leave a link down below where you can find that. I'm making these legs out of two by fours and they're going to be about 15 and a half inches long because I want the bench, the firewood rack to be about 17 inches tall, which is about standard height for a chair or a bench. So I'm going to cut out four of these legs to get started. Next up, I'm going to take these two by fours and rip them in half long way so that I'm splitting them right down the middle evenly. And these are going to be used for the stringers, for the, the bench, for the, the fire wood rack. These are going to be used to hold all of the legs together. Next up, I'm going to cut down these new two by twos to act as the stringers all the way around on the bench. So I'm going to cut down some four long ones and then four short ones. For the next step here, I'm going to use pocket hole screws to attach these skirting pieces together. So this is just a little scrap piece, but, but I'm going to have the legs on the ends here and then on the top and bottom we're going to have those rails or those skirts. And we're going to attach everything together with 3 inch deck screws. Now we're going to go ahead and attach the legs to the skirt with some 3 inch deck screws. I went ahead and pre-drilled the holes so that they're all uniform and in the same spot. Now with the bottom skirt that's going to act as the shelf to hold the firewood, this is going to be the bottom. I measured down a half an inch so that this is going to sit up off of the ground and I use these clamps to hold that skirt into place all the way around and now it's just as simple as screwing those legs into that bottom skirt. Next up we're going to build the bench top or the cover of the firewood rack and I'm just cutting down these 8 foot 2x6's to the proper length. Now I'm cutting down these 6 inch dog ear fence pickets to use as the slats for the bottom and the back of the firewood holder bench. Unfortunately, I purchased too many 2x4s and not enough fence pickets for this project. But I'm going to go ahead and attach the top, which will be the seat for the bench, and I'll pick up the fence pickets later. And I'll have the proper list of materials in my plans in the link down below. I was going to attach these boards from the underside to try to conceal and hide the screws, but I decided to just screw from the top, sort of like a deck. So I just clamped the boards together and I'll run screws down from the top. Well, I'm really happy with how this project turned out. I've got a place to keep my firewood dry, 
and it's just a few feet away from my fire pit. And speaking of fire pit, I'm working on a plan to reduce the amount of smoke that mine creates. And when that project is complete, I'll leave a link to that video right here. And I'm also using some of the scrap wood, the cutoffs of this project to create some side tables that are gonna go in between some of these Adirondack chairs around the fire. And when that project's complete, I'll leave a link to that video right here. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.